Israel is an imperfect society, yes. It's a work in progress, yes. We wish it had a different electoral system, yes. We wish the taxi drivers might be a bit more civil, yes. But you know what? Where was America 61 years after its founding? Where were African Americans? Where were Asian Americans? Where were Jews? Where were women? Israel has been a work in progress, but an extraordinarily inspiring, enlightening, emboldening work in progress. And all of us Jews, all of us who admire the effort of the Jewish people to reestablish their national sovereignty and their national home, to rekindle a love for the Hebrew language, to till a challenging soil, to build world-class universities, and to seek to be a contributing force in the world, need to stand up and applaud. Some people like settlements, some don't. Some like this government, some like that government. It's all fair discussion. But at the end of the day, it's far less important than the blessing that each and every one of us has to be alive and to be witness to this reemergence of this miracle and to watch those Israelis in particular, for they, sh they, 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 sh they, they shoulder the burden and the privilege of stewarding this state in a way that those of us on the outside can only assist and admire and to understand that there is no nation, no nation on the face of this earth that yearns for peace more than the people of Israel. We don't need lessons from European diplomats. We don't need lessons from Financial Times editorial writers. We don't need lessons from Ivy League professors. We don't need lessons in the desirability of peace. We want peace for Israel no less than, they want, than Israel wants peace for itself. But you can't make peace alone. You can't create partners if they don't exist. You can't forcibly engineer a situation when the partners emerged in Jordan and Egypt, Israel found a way to make peace. And I have no doubt, no doubt whatsoever, that when true partners emerge in the Palestinian community, peace will not be an option, it will be a necessity.